The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth, but if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything, but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. The city set on the mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they put nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand where it gives light to all in the house. Just so, your light must shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. For many of us, myself included, uh, the world offers a lot of creature comforts, the things that make life easier and more enjoyable, and there are plenty of examples of them. A hot shower, air conditioning, a heated car seat in the wintertime, a down pillow, not to mention all the techno technological comforts like high-speed Wi-Fi, virtual assistance, and the list goes on and on. Some call it the comfort culture. And the comfort culture can be very appealing. And there's no doubt that modern amenities have helped many people to live fuller, better lives. But there are risks inherent in this sort of comfort culture. One is that it can lead to indifference to the plight of others. Pope Francis says that leading a life of comfort can make us deaf to those who suffer. Almost imperceptibly, he says, we can grow incapable of feeling compassion for others and for their problems. When we're comfortable, he says, we forget about others. We become unconcerned with their problems, their sufferings, and the injustices they endure, and our heart grows cold. Indifference to the plight of others, indeed. I think another risk of the uh, comfort culture is the temp the temptation to view faith itself as one more thing that simply helps us to feel better, as an aid to our living more comfortable, easier lives. Now, there's nothing wrong with, with faith serving as a source of comfort for us. Um, it's certainly comforting to know that the Lord came to save us from sin and death. It's comforting for us to know that he's with us always until the end of the age. It's comforting to know we'll see our loved ones again in the life to come. But that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is reducing faith to something akin to an amenity that helps make life easier and, and more pleasant. And that's not what faith is. Faith isn't given us by God for our own ease or for our proper pleasure. Faith is not like a, a warm blanket. Faith is meant to challenge us. 
faith makes demands of us. Jesus didn't call the disciples and then tell them to put their feet up. No, he sent them out into the whole world to proclaim the gospel to every creature. And St. Paul knew that well. He knew that his conversion wasn't for his proper comfort or security. He knew that it was for making known the message and for proclaiming the mystery of God. Another way to put it is, is to say that faith is meant to draw us outside of ourselves. Faith is being salt of the earth. Faith is being light for the world. It's movement. It's active. For thus says the Lord, share your bread with the hungry, shelter the oppressed and the homeless, clothe the naked when you see them, don't turn your back on your own. Faith, brothers and sisters, is given us by God so that it can be lived and expressed through a loving concern for others, especially for the poor and the oppressed. It's about sharing and sheltering and clothing and not turning our backs on others. Creature comforts are uncertain, perishable things. But the good deeds that faith compels us to do, they heal. They dispel darkness and gloom. They are certain and eternal things. To quote Pope Francis again, he exhorts us as people of faith to get out of our comfort zone. He challenges us to step outside of ourselves so as to to attend to the needs of others. He says, We should not simply remain in our own secure world. We should go out with Christ. We should enter into Christ's way of thinking and acting. We should move beyond a dull or mechanical way of living our faith and instead go out in search of others so as to bring them the light and the joy of our faith in Christ. Faith is given us, brothers and sisters, not to help us feel more secure and contented, but rather to help us follow in the footsteps of the one who came among us, not in search of comfort, but as a servant in humility and in poverty. At the conclusion of today's Mass, after having been fed at the table of word and sacrament, We'll hear that familiar line spoken as at the conclusion of every Mass. Go, ite misa est. Go, you are sent. Faith is that other-oriented, that other-oriented gift given to you and to me, propelling us forward, challenging us to go outside of ourselves, to do good unto others, to be a light in the darkness, and to glorify our Heavenly Father.